We're less than three weeks away now from the state's self-imposed deadline to start retail cannabis sales. News 10 ABC's Juliana Bruno telling us more about how leaders in Albany are preparing for sales to begin. New York's recreational cannabis industry is expected to be a lucrative one, and the state has already laid out plans for how it will allocate tax revenue, with 40% going toward rebuilding communities impacted by the war on drugs. In addition to the 9% state tax on products, there will also be a 4% local tax. A quarter of that revenue will go to the county where it was sold, and the rest goes to the municipalities. Albany Common Council member Gabriela Romero wants to follow the state's lead and allocate some toward reparations. Local Law I would create a commission to come up with ideas of how that revenue can be distributed. It's a no-cost bill that would allow for these organizations to come together to investigate and research whether or not we can do reparations components uh, within the city of Albany with that um, cannabis revenue. Romero said the legislation is still in committee, but in the meantime, the city's Cannabis Advisory Committee has had numerous public input meetings to help the city craft local policies. She said Local Law I has support from her fellow council members, and she feels it goes hand in hand with the state's efforts to make the industry equitable, including the first batch of dispensary licenses being granted to people affected by cannabis-related convictions. I've met some people that have uh, licenses, and it's really exciting to hear their stories and to hear how they intend to give back uh, and acknowledging that they themselves have had that harm. Other municipalities gearing up for movement in the industry as well. The town of Rotterdam holding a public hearing at its town board meeting this Wednesday for residents to provide input on regulations for dispensaries and consumption sites. Juliana Bruno, News 10, ABC. Albany Police Department.